just like that. Hey, there's some things you can do on the truck yourself. So you don't have to wait in line and wait to get into the shop if they're busy and you know, you could waste your whole day just doing some simple thing. So try this stuff for yourself. My name's Kevin. I'm a solo driver for Crete, sitting here in our Freightliner Cascadia and you're watching the joy of trucking. This is more in our continuing series on handy dandy tips for new drivers. So here we are in the Indianapolis, Indiana terminal and we're here for our 34 reset. It's a chilly, cloudy, wet day. And uh, we've noticed a few things in the last couple of weeks, like there's a lot of dust in the truck. We're worried about the air quality. We're driving through some bad weather and things. So we went into the shop and said, hey, you guys busy? And they're like, oh yeah, we're busy. I said, well, listen, you got uh, the filters for the truck, like for the air system, you know, for heating and air conditioning. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, there's three. I said, really, there's three? So he took me into a truck and he showed me where to find them. And he gave me the filters and was very specific about which way to put the filters in. Like there's a front and a back. Watch this video and see where the filters are and how to change them. Also got some uh, new wiper blades for the truck. Winter wiper blades because the you know we're in the winter time here. There's snow and ice and everything like that. So watch and see how to get it done yourself. Save yourself some time. Oh, that's dirty. It's not dirty. You should see the one he showed me in the shop. It was totally... Blind. That is dirty. Hey, 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 here. The writing. This side is kind of smoothish. This kind of side is kind of like cotton balls so the smoothest side on the outside of curve he said the rough side toward the seat is that are you saying the same this thing this side toward the seat which side the side with the writing which is the rough side or the soft that side that is the smooth side this side is like cotton balls he said the smooth side goes Kevin, didn't he say the rough side goes to the I, 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 here, here. <laughs> yeah. here, see the writing? Yeah. See the curve? Oh, no, for God's sake, don't this get is the that cotton thing out. side. All I recalled him saying was the rough side towards the seat. Is that what you're doing? When I, when you say soft you say and rough, cotton ball. When you say rough, what exactly do you mean by rough? That's what he said. Grab that one over there on the dashboard and you tell me which side is rough. Close your eyes and feel each side. The outside has sort of a plastic coating. So the filter is one way. So the dirt will pass through the filter and get stopped by the plastic coating. You see? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Give me your hand. <laughs> Feel this side. Nice exfoliation. Feel this side. Oh, not so exfoliating. The one side is a plastic oh, a coating. Good exfoliator. The other side is like cotton. Ah. Cotton balls. Uh -huh. Which side has the writing? Uh, the plastic side. Which is the rougher side. So that's so what he meant by dirt rougher. Dirt goes through, gets trapped, and the air passes through the plastic side. Yeah. Which is the what writing. he referred to as the rough side. Yeah. I think it feels exfoliating, like to a, my, like a to day my at the fingers, spa. To my fingers. Yeah. What do your fingers say? They're both rough and they're both smooth. Both rough and smooth. Oh, well, that's confusing. Because right, I have calloused, rough, dry skin. So you're a tough guy. The difference to me is one side is sort of a shiny, plasticky kind of a feel. Uh huh. And the other side feels like cotton. Okay. Oh, nice. 
vacuum only gets so much of the dust. Yeah. Dirty man. Very dirty. So what does this particular filter filter? This was filtering the air that is sucked in by the bunk air conditioning heating unit. But not the furnace. The furnace is under the bed, right? Mm-hmm. So this is for air conditioner? Yeah, but you're, when you are running the engine and you put it on air conditioner or heat with these dials, you're using this unit. Okay, this is the one that's got this built in. Nice! Yeah, so this is something you can do yourself. You can get the filters at the service department, but this way you don't have to take your tractor in there and wait and all this. That's something you can do pretty easily yourself every once in a while. Change out the filters. Hmm. See the writing? Let's see the writing on the wall. That was not dirty. I told you they it's probably a, changed that when we got uh, the truck. It's a little dirty. A little gray. Let's change it. It's much, much, much dirtier than that. Mm -hmm. The filter's probably only a month or two old. This is for your air in the cab. Sucks air from inside the cab and then heats or cools it and shoots it back out the vents and things. And the fuses are in here. Right? Fuses in there. <gasps> Ooh! And a directory of the fuses right wow. here. Wow! That's a lot of fuses. <clears> okay, <throat> yeah, that was quick and easy. And where's the third one? All right, wanna tell us about this situation, please? The filter for your air. See, this is your air conditioning and heating unit that sucks air in, goes through the filter and then blows it inside the cab. So this is the filter for outside. And we got this door here. Because you've seen worse doesn't mean it's not dirty. That's quite the difference in color. Mm -hmm. 
there's no in or out or up or down or anything. Just slide it in there. Make sure you get this back on right so it doesn't fall off while you're driving. That's the trick. Ta-da! All right. Clean filters. So how often would you recommend drivers replace these? Me? I would I would say uh How often would you replace these filters? <laughs> when they get dirty. That's the best time to change them. Could be I mean, I've seen people leave them for a very long time and they come out of there totally clogged and black. If you live in an area that's dusty, like out in the desert, you're going to do it more often. In the winter, uh, the outside one won't get as dirty as it will in the summer when things are dry and dirt blown around. The ones on the inside depends on, on how much dirt you have inside the truck because it's sucking air from inside the truck, filtering it and blowing it right back inside the truck. Uh, I would look at them every two to three months for sure. I wouldn't go longer than that. And if you're, like I said, if you're in a dirty environment, you might want to do it once a month. This is a, this is the air quality that you're breathing inside the truck, so it'll affect your health. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks so much for letting us, uh, through all your resistance, <laughs> letting us film you changing these because it is helpful i anytime, think for drivers anytime especially because it is something they can do themselves and now you know that you showed them how to do it and it, it looks pretty easy once so you, once you do it once somebody shows you how then it seems easy yeah don't be afraid to try and look for the filters find them first if you can't find them you won't be able to change them right and where would you find them as a creep driver well, watch the video what? No, you ask at service. Oh, when you want a new one, ask at the terminal service department and get a new one. What other kinds of things do you do yourself on the truck? What other little things could uh, could drivers take care of themselves? Change wiper blades. <gasps> oh, are you going to do that? Yeah. Oh, maybe we should film that too. Uh, yeah, good idea. Hey, what have you got there? <laughs> wiper no, no. blades wiper blades winter weather wiper blades good idea yeah. when we hit the snow we got, you could tell the wipers weren't doing the job as well and you were trying to knock the ice off them before we got going during that big winter storm yeah here you'll be able to see what I'm doing is if you get up on the other side. Okay. Let's go over here. So maybe you could talk us through it. Well, you, you swing the arm out so you can get at the release. There's a little lever underneath here. And you press on that. I believe you pull it toward yourself to get it unhooked. They're all different. All different makes of cars and trucks have different wiper blade mounting assemblies, so you got to figure them out. We'll read the instructions. out the tools. There you go. All you needed was your leather man.
close. Okay. And the gentleman in the shop said that the winter ones don't quite do as good of a job on the passenger side. They don't flex as much. Yeah. I could leave that one on for you. That's what I'm thinking. We should try that one out first and then see if we want to switch. Because what is the benefit of a winter blade? It's, it's heavier, so it can move the snow and ice when it gets real heavy. Like these, these ones are thinner and not as sturdy and they don't have this sheath over them. So they can get all jammed up in ice. They don't, they don't have the ability to lift and move as much weight. So you want to change them both or just try one out first? I'm going to change them both. Okay. So let's see the summer one. Oh yeah, much thinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting, Kevin. Save those for when the good weather starts again. Or if I don't like the way these ones perform. Yeah. Hey, if you like the video, Give it a thumbs up, put your comments and questions below, any tips for us, things you can do yourself on the truck, that kind of thing. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, hit that button and the notification bell. And with that, we wish you a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya, bye.